imbecile. Well, as I said, my hope is to be able to offer you different ways that you can connect and grow and participate. And so I want to uh, let you know of a few of those. One of the best ways that, that we would love to connect with you is through prayer. And so if you're in the room and, and want to find the connection card in your bulletin, on the back side of that, we'd love to know if there's any way that we can be praying alongside you for what you hope God would do. Or maybe you want to celebrate something God has recently done. If you fill that out, you can place it in the offering box that's in the back of the room. If you're watching online, that's something you can do through the contact forum on our website. We'd love to have you join us in that. You can find our bulletin there as well under the resources tab if you're watching digitally and engaging with us that way. A couple of other options just by way of reminder. We've got a, a custom Bible reading plan that Pastor Bruce put together this year that'll go throughout uh, the seasons of rhythms that we're talking about. And so if you want one of those, they're available in the back of the room or in the racks by the offices. We'd encourage you to participate with us in that way as well. And then uh, we're in week two now beginning week two of our denominations uh, nationally, there are 40 days of prayer and think it's valuable for you to join in that. Uh, if you want to sign up for that online, CM Alliance, that's our denomination's website. It's the best way to do that. You would get all the devotions in your email as well as extra videos and activities to do with, with students or with kids as well. We'd encourage you to do that. If you don't have access to that or prefer to have hard copy, we've got hard copy of the week's devotions in the back of the room. And we'll address those a little bit. The theme of them as it takes place in the next few weeks, we'll be talking about our rhythm of prayer with God. And so that'll line up some with what we'll be praying through nationally together alongside the denomination. Now, those are both things that you can do alone, that Bible reading plan or this 40 days of prayer, but maybe you're looking to collectively grow in your relationship with God. We had new adult Sunday school classes start today. You can find out more information about those in the bulletin if you're looking to join us with that next Sunday. And then this Tuesday, our women's ministry starts a new study. It's a great time to on-ramp into that. There's uh, live options and uh, digital options for that as well. Again, there's a little more information in the bulletin. And then last week, uh, I let you know about an upcoming time to participate. Uh, that we would be talking about what it looks like to do these rhythms together and that we would love to have brainstorm and planning time for that together. And so two weeks from today on January 24th, uh, around dinner time at 6 o'clock, meaning there it will be dinner provided. Um, I'd love anybody who wants to come together and help do some brainstorming and planning on what it looks like to do our rhythms well. Our rhythm with God, our rhythm with our family, rhythms with the community of God's people, and rhythms with the world that we're supposed to impact. And so maybe, as you think about that, there's some resources that have been helpful to you. Maybe you think, man, I just there's this great book on how to do devotions with your family, and I would want everybody to have access to this thing because it's been so helpful and healthy for me and my family. And so maybe you'll come with an idea that, of just a resource that we can let people know about and encourage people uh, to participate with. Or maybe you've got something that you would hope that corporately as a church we would do together. Maybe you're thinking, man, when it comes to connecting with the rest of the church, I would love it if, if we would reserve an entire restaurant on a Sunday morning and we would all go out to lunch together and get to know each other outside of these walls. And you've just got ideas of things that would help us, uh, programs or events or ministries that we could put in place to, to work through well our rhythms with God, our families, each other, and the world around us. Bring those, and we'll have resources to share with people, and we'll put things on the calendar. It comes two weeks from tonight, Saturday, or Sunday night, the 24th at 6 o'clock. We'd love to have you join us there. We've got one more announcement this morning. It's going to take us a little bit longer, about five or six minutes worth of an announcement time. And uh, I'm going to invite Pastor Rob and Kelsey uh, both to come join me. Kelsey, you won't have to say anything, uh, but you can just come and we can celebrate you as well. Uh, this is an announcement that's been a long time coming. A little over 18 months ago, uh, as Rob was continuing to discern how God was calling and gifting him for a life of ministry, and as we as a church were still looking at ways we could best impact the community that surrounds us and join God in the work he's doing around us, uh, those things came together in a fun, awesome plan. God was up to something. As we navigated that personally in leadership here as a church, and as we then approached our district leadership with that, um, it's all become very clear. And so we're excited uh, to join our district in sending Pastor Rob and Kelsey uh, to plant a new church They'll be doing that this summer, particularly a church that'll have a heart to reach the homeless 
in Anoka. And so we're going to join in sending them together. And so Pastor Rob and Kelsey are planning and preparing for that. That'll take place this summer. You'll hear lots more details about those kinds of timings and things. A, a few of those this morning, lots in the next couple of weeks. But I wanted Pastor Rob and Kelsey to come share a little bit about what that journey of discernment has looked like for them and what that vision looks like a little bit for them as well. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, so God has spoken uh, very clearly over these last two years. It's been uh, close to two years as I uh, first heard from God uh, through reading a book and understanding what God might be doing, and he placed a vision on my heart about uh, what it looks like to reach people experiencing homelessness. Some of that comes from uh, some situations and experiences from uh, leading up to that point, but uh, but I started to understand what it was that God was doing, and as Kelsey and I started conversations and started conversations with Pastor Nate and the denomination, we started this process of listening to God and understanding what God is doing in our lives, and, uh, and we have seen uh, confirmation after confirmation after confirmation, doors opening, uh, and it is incredibly exciting. Over the last year or so, we've gone through a process of a church planning assessment that Kelsey and I got to. It was probably her favorite thing of doing something that she had no <laughs> idea what to walk into. Uh, but we didn't. We we weren't prepared for that. It was just, hey, uh, come come experience this assessment. Uh, you get tested on a bunch of things. You can't prepare for it. It's just us watching you for three and a half days. It's no big deal. And so we got through that, and uh, they got to see how we worked together as a team, how we reacted to uh, problem solving, um, all sorts of things. And the result of that was uh, that they recommended that we uh, lead a church plant. And, uh, and so even leading up to that point, there were six one-hour long phone calls that they had with different referrals of understanding uh, who I am and what I'm like. And so there's been these, uh, these intensive uh, interview processes, assessments, and uh, recently got to go on a, a couple day uh, basics training of just understanding what it looks like to plant a church and, and how to start talking about values and vision. Um, and uh, we, have, uh, we have heard God loud and clear. And uh, we're to a point with the burden that God has placed on our heart that uh, it would be disobedient to not follow through on this. Uh, that is how convicted uh, we are of what God is doing in our lives. And it's not about us, but it's about reaching a community. God has placed a burden on our hearts for specifically people experiencing homelessness, those who have endured suffering, and, uh, and, and he started to open doors. There's a homeless shelter, adult homeless shelter in Anoka that we became aware of called Stepping Stone, uh, got to, uh, the, one of the big confirmations for me personally was we started this uh, thing of just collecting supplies and giving care packages out. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you saw that happen and we were able to give, I think it was 75 care packages out full of supplies uh, to these residents and we saw people just gathering around to, uh, to support in just a personal thing that we were doing. But then even since then, they've uh, opened the doors to me leading a Bible study on Monday morning, serving uh, there for some lunches. Uh, we got to do a Christmas service and, um, and share the gospel already to some residents, and the doors continue to just fly open. And uh, we are incredibly excited for that. We're also uh, nervous, right? That's, there's a lot of unknowns there. Um, and we're also sad. There's a grieving process of understanding, especially with this last year, of a lot of last things that I anticipated to experience, things like mission trips and fall retreats and like things like Thanksgiving cook-off, stuff that we got to do with our students that just didn't get to happen. And so uh, all sorts of emotions between now and May when, uh, when, we're, uh, when we're leaving and, and start officially starting that process. But so thankful that, uh, that we have now then to encourage us and support us. Um, there's a slide on the screen that, uh, that you'll see with some upcoming ways to be aware of. I'll be preaching and sharing our vision uh, two Sundays from this morning in both services. There'll be some informational meetings that anybody can come to understand how you can support us. And then there's interest meetings for those that, uh, that feel that God might be pushing to actually be a part of this church as well. And so we're thankful of how healthy the relationships are with, with Pastor Nate and the board. Um, couldn't be healthier and the ways that they have encouraged us and process this. Uh, we're so thankful and uh, looking forward to see what God uh, does uh, through us, uh, but more importantly, for his glory. Uh, so uh, we love you. Looking forward to sharing more with you in a couple weeks. Thank you. 
I've been excitedly watching this process for a little, like about two years now, between Rob and I with some beginning conversations as that has taken place. And it's been affirming to continue to watch God move through that. I know it'll bring up lots of questions. As Rob said, you can feel free to reach out to him and there'll be lots of opportunities coming up in the next few weeks to hear more about that, to have opportunity to ask a lot of those questions in more formal ways. Some of you that are quick to say, well, what does that mean on our end? Um, A part of Rob's time with us, like he's, you you heard him say through May, he'll be with us at least through the end of May uh, and then look towards a full-time transition to that work uh, in June. A part of his hours will be designated right now towards church planning. So he'll be about three quarters time still working as our, and serving as our youth pastor and about a quarter of his time will be towards church planting efforts. That's something that we've done in partnership with the district and the board and I will be doing things like uh, starting the process to see how we can best prepare ourselves as a church for that transition and how we can have things in line in June well uh, for our youth ministry going forward as well alongside that. We're excited about it. In a moment, I'll pray for them alongside um, some other things as well. 